As far as getting the lower jaw to move forward, the approach to doing this with kids and adults is really the same. It's just that with adults, it's more likely to require surgery. But generally speaking, the upper jaw, if it's small and we're expanding to get it wider and hopefully get things to move forward, if we can get that upper jaw to expand and move forward, that actually gives room for the lower jaw to, to move. But there are some cases where the upper jaw is sitting out relative to the lower jaw, but whatever the situation may be, in order to get the lower jaw to move forward, we have to make sure there's space so that the upper jaw is actually growing out and creating room. Or if there already is room, we're gonna to have to make sure the upper jaw is expanded wide enough. We're going to need to train the lower jaw to bite in a more forward position. So typically that's gonna require bite plane appliances. Bite plane is where you put an area on the appliance that's in the mouth. When the person closes down, it gives them something to bite on. Typically what we're doing is shaping that biting area or that bite plane on the appliance. The person closes down, their lower teeth actually fit in a more forward position. What we're trying to do at the same time is move the upper teeth around so that we can systematically train that lower jaw to stay more forward. In doing this, we can actually get some remodeling to occur between the lower condyle and the TMJ and part of the temporal bone. This is sort of a controversial issue. I think to some extent you can get remodeling and make that lower jaw move forward as a matter of like function and skeletal posture. But as I said, in adults, it's much more difficult and you certainly can't ever promise your patients that this is gonna happen. One of my favorite appliances for kids, it's called a twin block appliance. It's an appliance where part of the bite plane is on the top, part of the bite plane is on the bottom. And you take a look at the lower jaw's neutral position. If we can see where the patient can remain in a neutral muscle position, have them bite a little more forward, we'll shape the upper and lower bite plane so they fit together like a puzzle. Really encourages that lower jaw staying forward in that postural position.